So by still connection user, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to demo you uh, how to design the uh, extended amplitude moment connection using uh, this program. Okay, down below uh, description area, there is a link to download this uh, PDF file. It's a working sheet. Okay, we are going to design uh, three um, extended amplitude moment connection. One is clean colon, no stiffener plate, no double plate. Okay, the other one is uh, MC with uh, stiffener plate in the column. Okay, stiffener plate. The third one is uh, stiffener plate and double plate. Okay, so these uh, connections are extracted from a standard drawing. Here we have a moment connection table. Okay, with uh, uh, actually three types, but that one is heavy, heavy duty one, and uh, there's a capac capacity table here. Uh, what we are going to do is the bin section is 31067 and the column section is 31097. It's uh, in American uh, manual section, it's uh, 12 by 45. That's W12 by 65. The capacity is, uh, we, we are going to design type 1B is uh, 79 uh, kips moment. The type 2A is 109 keeps fit moment okay sorry so the type 4 is 176 keep fit moment uh, both of them have actual load tensor of 12 keeps okay so we get the capacity from this table and the detail from here it's a type we're going to design type 1b I believe it's 28 with Stephen play and type 4 type 4 here okay so give me a sec Okay, so that's uh, type 4 with stiffener plate and double plate. Uh, type 2A with stiffener plate and no stiffener plate, no double plate, it's type 1B. So we we'll start with this one, okay? The colon section is 1265, the bin section is 1245. Look at this section, all right? We're going to input this one. So move this out. So before everything, uh, make sure I go to setting, okay? Setting. Make sure it's American code L R F D, and the design unit is uh, Imperial Keep Fit. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So now let's start with uh, Type One B. Okay. So start input. Go to right and print. Oh, no, go to section first. Okay. Get the colon and pink section. Go to section first. The colon section is 1265. Okay, 1265. 1265 here. The pink section is 1245. 1245. Um, now, go to end plate, okay? End plate. Okay, the plate thickness. Okay, now it's three quarter bolt. Three quarter bolt, that's correct. Plate thickness is one inch. Um, the gauge is four inch, that's correct. This uh, pitch is two inch, two inch. The distance, we, uh, the distance is uh, uh, what's the distance? Edge distance is uh, let's keep this one. Let's keep this one point five, okay. And the uh, update and the. Uh, Play width is one inch plus French, okay? So here we see the French width is 8.05, so one inch each size 10.05. No. And play width is 10.05. Okay, so go to front view, front view. 
10.05 it's one inch both end all right so uh, we pretty much there the welding is uh, French weld 716 the web weld is 516 that's correct and uh, design mode is okay the table value is 79 actually I do a check uh, it's, it's conservative we can go larger 108 the tensile force is minus 12 kips the shear force not shown on the table uh, for MC the shear force normally it's it's a separate uh, limit state from moment so uh, that's why the table doesn't show that but we can take 50% uh, of uh, being section shear capacity is 50, 55 okay that shouldn't be any problem update so get point nine nine. all right so the table value is uh, 79 actually we can achieve 108 okay the table value is uh, okay 79 we can do 108 okay no problem 100 so we finish uh, this clean column one okay and then you can go to calculation you can write bin sketch okay and sketch let's uh, expand all all the calculation and you can print all right so if that's calculation you can print it like this okay I, I won't detail that that's a sketch uh, side view front view low view top view okay the calculation it's pretty much uh, all right so general not go to end plate go to end plate okay so we'll finish the first one all right now we'll go to the next it's uh, go to the next type uh, 2 a with Stephen play okay now look at this details uh, we're going to input this one the next connection tables go to uh, that's one inch no change uh, the boat diameter is one inch boat diameter now instead of uh, three quarter okay so one inch boat okay now the gauge is five inch now instead of that it's two inch two inch EV uh, no change no change one inch plate no change and the we finish it this one now uh, stiffener plate okay let's go to design low first the table value is 109 uh, from our calculation I think we can achieve 127 actually there's no change turns out actual tensile trough shear cap shear load uh, 55 is 50% uh, of the section uh, being section shear capacity 1.0 actually <laughs> uh, no stiffener plate will work okay with one inch bolt uh, no stiffener plate will work get one zero uh, that one is uh, 716 it's 516 no stiffening will work but we still provide stiffener plate just to show you uh, how to add stiffener plate because the governing factor is not column section check okay so that's stiffener plate with uh, okay you copy it you get uh, stiffener 3 3a stiffener plate full depth okay you can also get go to half depth all right half depth stiffener plate like this all right so okay so that concludes uh, our second details we'll go to the third one 
now we go to the third one, all right? So move this in. The third one uh, is heavy duty. Okay, same color, same thing size, but uh, one inch diameter bolt. The capacity now we bump up to 180. The table value is 176. I think we can achieve 180 with a stiffener plate 386. No, no, half inch thick uh, stiffener plate and 38 thick uh, web double plate. Okay, so we go to 180. Move this out. So design load. Uh, we can go to 180. Minus 12 the same tens actual tensile same shear capacity update. So it fails at 1.24 now. 1.42, sorry. Okay, so same one inch bolt gauge same five inch. That's the same. The only difference is the price thickness now is 1.25. Okay, 1.42. Now we need double plate. Okay, we already have stiffener plate. Now we need double plate. The plate thickness is one side. Okay, one side. Uh, go to top view. I think you will see in the top view. Top view, it's one side. Okay. One side double plate, you can go to two side, no problem. Okay, so just show you that you can do that way. Two side, okay, one side for our case, one side. All right, so side view, I believe it's side view now. Uh, that's a double plate case, okay, the weld, we also, but. It works, but uh, actually they have large weld. It's uh, just show you one. Okay, that one, the detail is five eight. That one, the detail is three eight. Okay, go to see the highlight. No, well, right being well. Okay, three eight. Okay, five eight. Okay, and uh, the. Uh, Stiffener plate, that one is uh, 516. No, that one is 516. And uh, that one is uh, 38. Uh, 38, it's very heavy. Well, okay. Double plate, let's keep it one quarter. Okay, that's welding. Okay, so uh, right end plate. So let's finish uh, our double plate, stiffener plate with a uh, heavy load. Okay, uh, how heavy it is? We can go for 180. Okay, 180. See here, 180. Okay, then go to design calc. Okay, you get sketch. And get calculation, you expand all of them, you can print it. Okay, print it. So that's a nice uh, calculation double plate, stiffener plate, heavy uh, moment connection, the low view, all the calculation is here, right? So uh, that concludes our, our uh, tutorial on moment extended and break moment connection design using this program. See you next time. Bye-bye.